Hello everyone, I'm Jodi Lynn and welcome to AD Naturally where we talk about non-invasive better eating solutions for the mature skin. Today's video is about some products that I have stopped using and I'm gonna tell you why. Let's get into it. The first one that I've stopped using is the Tatcha Essence. I absolutely love this. I love the ingredients. I think it's wonderful. It's super hydrating. It's $100. So it's pretty pricey. So I have found one that's even better, which is the Super Sika Toner. I love this. This is super hydrating. It is a lot more affordable than the Tatcha. And even when I put it in my hand, I can feel the softness in my palm right away. So this has Centella Asiatica, which is supposed to help um, enhance collagen production. It is also an anti-inflammatory, so it's gonna be great for sensitive skin. Also, if you have eczema, I do not, but that is supposed to help with eczema as well. But I love this. So I will probably not purchase this again once it's done. The Lemieux TGF Booster is something that I've been using for, gosh, probably over a year now. I absolutely love this. It's a plant-based stem cell. It has a lot of peptides in here, um, a lot, I think like five different types of hyaluronic acid. It definitely gives you a beautiful plumping effect. I find it to be aesthetically beautiful putting it on, like you really feel like you're in a spa. It's lovely. I have done a whole video on stem cells, growth factors with Mira from Skin Science by Mira if you're interested in more information about that. But I've stopped using this because of the fact that I wanted to experiment with growth factors. And now I could definitely use both of these for sure, but I wanted to know what it would do without using um, the Lemieux. First one that I've been experimenting with is the Kate Ryan EGF Skin Rejuvenation um, Serum. This is a synthetic growth factor. If you are interested in growth factors but don't like the fact that they come from human stem cells, this might be uh, you know, something that you wanna look into because it is synthetic. Kate Ryan has figured out a way to create in a lab um, stem cells and growth factors that you know work in the same way on your skin. So I found that really interesting. I've been really enjoying this. This has been really wonderful. And then something that I've just recently, literally like last night, <laughs> um, started using was Brad Suticles, their um, gold serum. This is actually um, a stem cell that actually does come from humans, human bone marrow, and that is supposed to be the most researched that in skin rejuvenation and the benefits of it. So it was important for me to find one that was oncologist safe. Anti-age uses the same type of stem cell that's in here and they've done extensive research and it is oncologist safe. Um, this company, Brad Suticles, is such a small company. They don't have the funding to be able to do that research. So I figured, and tell me if I'm wrong, that the stem cells, if anti-age has already done the research and it's oncologist safe, I would assume that this would be the same because they're using the same stem cells. So that's my thought process. Let me know if you think I'm wrong, but I used this last night uh, with cosmetic needling on the lower layer of my face. The reason I didn't do the top is because I'm actually trying out hydrototox which is supposed to be topical Botox, video coming Sunday, subscribe. You're not gonna to wanna to miss that. Um, but anyway, I used this cosmetic needling last night on this part of my face. I was really surprised at how wonderful my face looked afterwards. Usually with cosmetic needling, um, I my face even gets really, really red. Uh, and I'll insert a photo. Uh, this did not. I mean, I got that initial redness, so I knew when to stop my cosmetic needling. Within like five minutes, it was pretty astonishing at how bright and healthy my skin looked. Just got done cosmetic needling with the Bradsuticals and the Ordinary Copper Peptide. Just feel like my face looks really glowy and kind of really good. I actually used this and cocktailed it with the Ordinary Copper Peptide, so honestly I can't really say if it was this or the Copper Peptide, but um, this combination together, I really liked it. Or if it's just because I've been doing this part of my face for like three or four weeks, maybe I'm getting a little bit more used to it. So I can't really say, but I can just tell you that so far I'm liking this.
I was using Bicutriol on my neck because I was not able to use any retinols. I definitely cannot use my tretinoin. It's just too strong. Stopped using Bicutriol and I have been using the Youth Retinol Serum. I really enjoy this. This is gonna be that light retinol that you can use starting out. And it also has hyaluronic acid, vitamin A, vitamin E, and aloe vera. It's very hydrating and soothing. It is definitely a serum. It is not a lotion. And I started using this because there's just so much more research on retinol than there is on Bacucciol. And I wanted to be able to get to use a retinol on my neck. That's what I've been using. It does not irritate my neck whatsoever. And I've been enjoying this. This is the biggest thing that I'm so excited that I have stopped using is hydroquinone. I cannot even tell you. I think I did three hydroquinone treatments, two or three, I can't even honestly remember. Uh, but it made my skin so sensitive. There was a point that I just couldn't use anything on my face any longer. Even the dark spot formula where I was just putting it in certain areas only, it just really sensitized my skin. And I do believe that it did wonders for my skin. Hydroquinone is the gold standard for hyperpigmentation, uh, but I couldn't use anything else. So I was just so frustrated with how irritating my skin was. So I um, stopped using it and I'm just using Agency's Dark Spot Formula. This is definitely gonna take longer for my hyperpigmentation to go away. I'm not even sure, honestly, if it can go 100% away. I'm fine with that because I'm liking the initial results that I'm getting from the hydroquinone that I used, and I'm okay with that. I can't go through the sensitivity anymore. I don't want to. So I'm just using the Dark Spot Formula, and it's been so much better. After I stopped using hydroquinone, literally within... I'd say two weeks, my face was back to normal and I could start using other products. So um, just keep that in mind. I started using this, which is the Neoid Lip Biolipid Concentrate at the beginning of the year. This is supposed to help over time. You use this consistently. It's supposed to help plump your lips. It also is supposed to give you a plumping effect instantly. I did find that it did a little bit. First thing that I didn't like about this is there. it's a dropper. It's a dropper. So no matter what, I get like this really big bubble, okay? Just a lot, you don't need a lot. And I put it on the bottom of my lip and then what I was finding is that just even going like this or just kind of putting it on my lip, I couldn't, there was no way for me not to get it up here. And you don't wanna do that because this part then is gonna be all kind of red initially. What I'm finding, and I just realized this, I noticed this, I'm getting a line here. I'm gonna show you a picture. Um, I did not have the line when I started using this. I'm assuming it's this. So I've stopped using this um, and we're gonna see if that goes away. Let's hope. A different thing that I've been trying is the Eye Method Lip Plumper. They did send these to me. There is a day which is supposed to give you a help, uh, you know, a plump during the day. And then there is a night mask that is supposed to help plump the lips while you're sleeping. I do like the ingredients on here. This does have a tingling sensation. It gives a little bit of a plumping effect. It's definitely not gonna be any, there's nothing out there that can really do filler stuff, just so you know. And I don't want that anyway. I just want to keep them really kind of healthy is what I want. Um, and I don't want them to get really thin. I find that this gave a little bit of a plumping effect, not as much as this one. This is my City Lips. I love this. This is $35. These two are 15. I think that they're on sale for 12. This has great skin food. Uh, this also has got some really good ingredients, but I find that the ingredient list on here is just a bit better. However, the downfall on this, so you know, I love this and I love all the colors. I've got a ton of colors. I'm going to be doing a whole video on that, but um, this, it goes on kind of thick and you got to be super careful because once you talk, you can get strings. That's the only downfall. You really need to make sure you're using a tissue and getting in the inside and getting it out because you don't obviously want it to string up. This does not do that. This is more of like an oil. This is more of like a thicker gloss. I hope that makes sense. And I like both of the applicators because I can do that and I don't need to get it. Just kind of put it on. You know, this is going to help me not to get it up here. So we'll see how that works. But so far, I've been really enjoying these. I mean, for the price, I think it does a little something. Show you my initial 
um, kind of look here. But so far I've been enjoying these. City Lips also reached out to me and sent me some um, products and I'm gonna be talking about more of those a little later in a different video. But this one is their Hydro Mask. This is their Line Smoothing Hydro Mask, which is supposed to plump and smooth. This is really nice, it's really lovely. This is like going to be your luxury mask on a spa day because they're quite pricey. I found them to be nice, um, but honestly, they're just not gonna beat this. This is my Medicube. This is the Sika Aloe Green Tea masks. There are 30 masks in here. It's insane, Centella Asiatica, Hyaluronic Acid, great ingredients, um, super hydrating. I use this morning for a minute. Um, five minutes in the evening you can because there's 30 masks. I literally use them now every day because it's so cheap, less than a dollar a mask. I mean, I don't know how you can beat that and I think they're on sale right now for like 19 bucks. So I think that equals out to be about 63 cents a mask and you can use my discount for an additional 10% off. But um, yeah, I love these. All right, another thing that I've stopped using is Then I Met You Calming Gel. This is a beautiful gel. However, when I stopped Hydroquinone, I couldn't use this again. So I am now using the Youth Anti-Age Moisturizer L22. This is absolutely wonderful. This is very rich. However, it's light enough that I wore it, wear it during the day. Um, it has shea butter and it has macadamia nut oil. It's just super hydrating and it has those fatty acids, which I really love. I've been using this and this is great to use uh, also for me and my skin, dry skin, mature skin has been wonderful using it under SPF and foundation. So just kind of keep that in mind. Another one that I've been using is their day night. This is by the youth day night hyaluronic acid snail extract. I've been kind of experimenting with snail extract. I've been using this only in the evening. I have been actually really liking it. Um, and this is cruelty free, just so you know. So snail extract is actually supposed to help remove dead skin cells and stimulate cell renewal. So I've just been using it for a couple of weeks. I do really like it. I find it to be really hydrating. If you're kind of interested in checking out snail extract, I think it's a pretty affordable price as well. Talk about the last item that I have stopped using um, and it's because I broke it. <laughs> that is the Nua radio frequency device. I broke this device. If you've been following me for any time, you know that this is really how I transform my face using this and also microcurrent with the of QT and the Myolif Mini. Um, huge changes, huge changes. This will always be <laughs> um, my heart. <laughs> because of the changes that it did on the skin. I am in maintenance phase and I have been loving the Lumo. This is what I've been using um, because I'm only doing it once a week, which I love. What I ended up doing was plugging in the wrong plug and it, when I turned it on, mm -hmm, I was devastated to say the least. That's one of the reasons I stopped using that. And of course, brands started sending me other devices to use. Learn from me. Don't let that happen. And buy these little stickies <laughs> that tell me what all my cords are because now I have so many devices, like it's insane. These have been a godsend so that you accidentally don't plug in the wrong cord for the device um, and break it because these are expensive. So anyway, that is why I have stopped using my new radio frequency device. I think I've shared with you enough for right now. Let me know about hydroquinone. Do you continue to use it every couple of months? Does it make your skin sensitive? I would love to know. So if you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. Make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell so you do not miss my upcoming videos. Until next time.